Hello everyone, welcome to Programming Cradle. Today in this video, I will discuss about uh, is it a better idea to take Applied AI course full time or you should take Applied AI course in parallel with your job. So because I've been getting uh, some questions related to this topic, so I thought, okay, let's make a video and explain this thing in this video. So I would like to put forward my own opinions, um, but that doesn't mean it uh, suits well for everybody. So at the end of the day, you should make your own decision uh, based on your situation because you know your situation uh, very well. And uh, I might give my opinion and it will be well suited for me or maybe uh, some people but uh, there are chances that uh, you will have to take it in a different way so this is just my opinion and it doesn't mean that you should follow this thing so yeah uh, that's exactly what we'll be discussing in this video but before moving further if you are new here or if you want to subscribe to the channel please go subscribe to the channel and be a part of programming cradle family and also hit that bell icon so that you get notified each time when a video goes live and also please give it a thumbs up it keeps me motivated to make such videos for you guys and also if you have something specific you can always ask me in the comment section i try to explain my answers in depth in comments because uh, I don't believe in one word or one liners so yeah I try to explain my answers and if you like you can see the comment section uh, you will get an idea and I try to answer each and every comment. So yeah with that being said let's start a discussion. So there can be uh, multiple type of people so here I have divided this video into two uh, sections uh, one if you have good financial backing and the second if you don't have good financial backing. So if you are someone uh, who has good financial backing and there aren't many responsibilities on you and there aren't many people dependent on you in that case you can think of uh, um, taking applied AI course full time if your work is really hectic and you are not getting much time out of your work. In that case you can of course uh, take uh, applied AI course full time. But again there is a risk factor because uh, what if at the end of the day you are not able to finish the course and if you are not able to finish the course you are not eligible for the job guarantee program and you will be on your own uh, to look for a uh, job. And uh, in my opinion if you are able to complete at least 20 to 24 assignments of applied AI course you will be in a very good position to find job on your own because you will learn quite a lot of things and assignments are designed in such a way that you will learn each and every aspects of a data science machine learning deep learning so if you do uh, 24 assignments you will be in a good position to uh, get a job on your own so this is for those people who have uh, financial backing and work is really hectic and if you don't have a very hectic uh, work schedule what you can do is you can dedicate uh, at least one to two hours every day after coming from office right now we are working from home so you can obviously give one to two hours every day and on weekends try to give as much time as you can like uh, four to five hours maybe so with that you will be able to finish the course in six to seven months and if it takes a year that is also fine so you can finish the course in that time so yeah this is for people who have uh, financial backing and they can uh, quit their quit their job and they can join applied AI course full time but again like i told you there is a risk factor so i would highly suggest to take the course uh, in parallel with your job now people uh, who have more responsibilities and they are not very uh, good with their uh, financial backing so in that case i don't think you really have a you really have option to quit your job and then go for applied AI course full time because there are people dependent on you and when you are taking a risk uh, it won't simply affect you it will affect other people also so you need to think that as well but uh, uh, there's a very famous saying that uh, if you don't take risk uh, you won't achieve heights and all those things yeah that is good uh, everything is fine but the thing is uh, the, the risk you are taking it should be calculated you should be confident enough that you will uh, and also you need to be very dedicated uh, to finish this course and you will and you should uh, take the advantage of the placement from applied AI course because they schedule your interviews 
and everything so there you don't really have to worry about uh, getting your resume shortlisted of course if the company agrees to uh, interview you then only you will be able to go for the interview but at least uh, they are pa they are hiring people from applied echoes because they know that uh, people are learning from a good quality content so they will have obviously have good knowledge so based on that they are hiring so there are more chances of your resume getting shortlisted uh, rather than if you apply on other portals like nokri and all so in that case you will have more chances of your resume getting shortlisted and if you want to increase your resume getting shortlisted i have actually made a video and you can use that tool to optimize your uh, resume so you can check out that video here uh, it will definitely help you so yeah uh, in that case uh, you need to be very dedicated and you need to have a uh, confidence that you will uh, finish uh, the course and then you will be able to take advantage of uh, applied ai course uh, placement things so yeah that is the thing but if you are not uh, very confident or if you are not very dedicated person i would highly suggest you to uh, not quit your job and uh, still if you want to take this course of obviously this is i mean personally i think this is one of the best courses in the market today to learn from quality content so of course you can take if you want to learn things and uh, maybe if you finish uh, 20 to 24 assignments uh, and you do some projects on your own which are actually good and uh, again you can optimize your resume as per the job requirement and you can apply on your own and if your resume gets shortlisted that is wonderful and you will be able to get job without uh, even quitting your job uh, existing job so that is the thing and uh, uh, these are the two cases which I could think of and if your uh, situation is something else you can always ask me in the comment section I will try to think that way and maybe I will be able to help you or you can of course uh, think in your own way and you are a better person to judge your own situation so yeah that is a thing so i think this is uh, what i want to discuss in this video and i hope i was able to answer your question and if this video helped you please give it a thumbs up it keeps me motivated to make such videos for you guys and also you can download data science notes uh, link will be in the description and uh, you can also join a telegram group we, there we have uh, more than 800 people and uh, they discuss about things on daily basis like which course is better what to do next and people also share their projects and recently uh, somebody posted their um, project which was basically a recipe uh, the food uh, classification so we gave him uh, suggestions also how you how he can improve his project so people are engaging there and it is again a good way to uh, make a good connection and learn together so you can always join the telegram group and it will surely help you and uh, yeah at the end of the day please subscribe to this channel because i make such content for you guys and hopefully it will help you and uh, yeah this is it for this video see you in the next video bye Happy learning.